The idea is today we're going to start making this Java Paint program. Uh, and a lot of the stuff is similar, but we're going to add a few different components to it to uh, deepen your understanding of how to work with Swing. So you'll notice you can paint, you can undo the last thing. It doesn't work for the first one, and it only goes back one step. You can change the transparency of the tool you're drawing with a brush. You can change the color, you can change the size, um, and you can change the shape of the brush, just two basic shapes a square brush and a circular brush. Um, so we're going to get right into it and uh, we're going to first talk about making this panel on the left hand side. So these are two different panels, uh, or two different frames, um, and there are two different panels. But um, <clears throat> most of the stuff you actually know how to do uh, and so uh, we're going to jump right into the code. Okay, so uh, I didn't set up the program for you this time. I would like you just to do that. I would like to, to create a new package called main in a new project. And in that package, I would like you to have runner class. And the only thing you need to do is make a new Java paint object in the main method, public static void main string args, and a new Java paint. Now Java paint is the second class, and the, this program only has two classes. So this is the second class. And um, I will show you how to do a couple things, but for the most part, I'm going to want you to go back and review the last one of how to create those sliders and add a change listener to three sliders. So when we run this program, it'll have a blue slider, a green slider, and a red slider. Um, oh, not that one, sorry. Run Java Paint, or yeah, Java Paint, and you'll see it only has these three sliders, and the top one should be the blue slider, but it doesn't have a border, uh, and I'll show you how to create borders around sliders so that they're a little neater. Um, so to create a border around a slider, if you sl go down here and check out the green slider and the red slider, which are correctly set up at this point, um, we just need to add, uh, there's a tool, an object in Java Swing called add border, oops, um, yeah, set border, sorry, set border, and we want to use this class of objects called border factory, that is uh, obviously a factory for creating borders, and we want to create titled border, and we'll just set it to blue, um, and that is it. and you should see now when we run the program uh, that the top slider will now have a label blue like the bottom two sliders and even though you can't see what they're doing they are actually uh, being listened to by a change listener and so I want you to implement a private class uh, called my change listener like I have done down below and uh, make three different sliders uh, actually be listened to by an object from this class and so um, uh, the last thing that you should do is set the value of this the color object so it's just a color uh, that is a composite of the three two and you can see here um, the values of the sliders like whenever any of each of any of those sliders if e dot get get source equals blue slider or e dot get source equals red slider if any of the sliders are uh, clicked on and changed. We just want to set the value of the color that we're going to draw with to those three values. It's just a simpler way of doing what you did yesterday uh, or in the previous project. So make that panel look like my panel and we can see that uh, you can see that it's actually changing just to test your code to uh, say like panel one uh, dot set background color the color Actually, it is the sliders are functional. Now we're going to take that code out in the next lesson, but uh, you can see that as you uh, adjust the sliders, they actually do change uh, the value of the color object, and then they can set the background color. So that's uh, the first thing that I would like you to do is get this panel up and running, and then in the next video, I'll show you how to add other components. Okay.